Um, what do you find to be the biggest challenge or most difficult part of being a photographer? Uh, the most difficult part about being a nature photographer mm -hmm. is you never know what you're going to get. You're not in control. So it's very difficult if you have a specific set of things that you're looking for and the conditions simply don't right. cooperate. But the antidote for that is to be open to surprises and be open to different thinking on location. And if you stay open and you keep looking, even if you just turn around and look 180 degrees behind you, you might be surprised by the new work you can come up with. What gives you ideas or inspiration? And who are your influences? Well, ideas and inspiration often come from the environment. They often come from my moods either at the time or from the past. As far as visual inspiration, I look very much towards filmmakers. Um, I love Stanley Kubrick and the Coen brothers and Alfred Hitchcock and Orson Welles. And they're really my visual education, much more so than the wonderful photographers I've looked at over the years. But I was a, a film studies and screenwriting student in my 30s. And this really had me keyed in visually, is films. And I'm a big fan of uh, painters, uh, Turner, Rembrandt, Vermeer, uh, many different influences. And the surrealist, I think, have also influenced me on a mood and uh, irony standpoint. What would you be doing if you weren't working in photography? I think if I wasn't working in photography, I'd probably still be a writer with a writer's block. <laughs> Do you have any advice for beginning photographers? My advice is try to do a lot of shooting. Try to study painting, photography, um, film, any type of visual medium, medium, architecture. And continue to refine your craft and don't expect perfect results. If you're always perfect, that means you're not pushing hard enough. Um, okay, last but not least, do you have a favorite camera or lens? Well, currently I really like the camera Canon 5D Mark III. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, fairly normal zoom for that, a 24 to 70. Mm -hmm. And then my other favorite camera is my iPhone, which I use quite a bit and even uh, exhibit and teach iPhone classes. Mm -hmm.